Okay, we're going to do a quick little demonstration of how to do some simulations for sampling averages uh, with Excel and Tinkerplots. So here's our situation. We have a whole bunch of batteries. Energizer AA batteries are designed to provide 1.5 volts. These batteries were tested, let's say, by loading them into an electronic game that required 250 milliamps of current. <clears throat> then the experimenters recorded the amounts of time that it took before the, each battery dropped below a certain voltage level. So these times were normally distributed, approximately normally distributed. So the Energizer batteries lasted for an average of 1.35 hours with a standard deviation of 0.044 hours before they dropped below 1.3 volts. So this is what they're going to drop below first, obviously starting at 1.5. Also, they recorded <clears throat> Energizer batteries lasted for an average of 7.36 hours with a standard deviation of 0.29 hours before they dropped below 1 volt. So let's keep all that in mind. Now, ultracell batteries, uh, according to the people who wrote this paper up here, ultracell batteries are significantly cheaper. And so they got a sample of nine ultracell batteries and tested those to see how they compared to the energizers. So the ultracells lasted an average of 1.52 hours before uh, their voltage dropped below 1.3. Compare that to 1.35. The ultracell batteries lasted an average of 7.41 hours before they dropped below 1. Compare that to 7.36 hours. So at first glance, we're lasting just a little bit longer. But these are averages of nine batteries. So this is not just one single battery. This is an average of nine. So now I'm going to leave it to you as the listener to put this on pause and answer this question. Now I'm going to leave it to you to put this on pause and answer this question. And now that you've answered those questions, you know what the null hypothesis is, you know what it is that we're trying to test, let's actually do a simulation. So under the null hypothesis, we assume that the ultracell batteries are really just the same as the energizers. So in the study, uh, they took nine ultracells, so let's simulate that. So for the energizers, we have the mean and standard deviation reported here again. So in Excel, what we're going to do is we're going to build nine random numbers from this normal distribution. And we're going to do it in this way. If I do norm.inverse, norm.inverse says give me a raw score from a probability on a normal distribution. Now if I just take a random number, so I do rand open parenthesis, close parenthesis, that's a random number between 0 and 1. So it's a random probability. So if I put in a random probability with my mean and my standard deviation for the Energizer batteries, I get a randomly selected number from that normal distribution. So again, this accepts a probability in Here's a random probability, and it outputs a number from the normal distribution with this mean and this standard deviation. Now we're doing nine of those, so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag to the right until I get nine of these, maybe. <clears throat> so let's keep dragging to the right here. So I've got nine of them. I've got nine randomly selected numbers from that normal distribution. And what I'd really like is just to get the average of those. So I'm going to say average of, well, let's see here. That was column A, row 2, up to column I, row 2. Now, we found the average. We put it in a cell to the right of our nine numbers. Now, pressing F9 will re-randomize. So if I do that, if I re-randomize, I can get a sense of how rare it might have been to get 7.41, because if we come back over here, 7.41 is what we got for the ultra cells. So let's just do this. So that's one. Let's see, I did not get it. I did, so there's one. 
there's two out of four. There's three out of four. There's five, geez, there's three out of five, and so on. You can keep randomizing, and you see that 7.41 is really not such a rare event. It does happen, and I'm just pressing F9 to re-randomize each time. Now, I'm going to leave it up to you to build this, put it on pause, answer this question. Now let's, now let's do something a little bit better. Instead of just pressing F9 a bunch of times, I just want to do this a bunch of times. I want to do it more than just 10 or 12 or 15 or something like that. I'd like to do this, let's say, a thousand times. So I'm going to take my simulation, I just highlighted that row, and I'm going to drag until I've got a thousand simulations. So I'm getting close. There we go, we're getting closer. I'm going to take it to row 1001 because I had a title row there. So now I've got a thousand different simulations of nine batteries and the average from those nine batteries. And I've, so I've got a thousand different averages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this, control shift down arrow, control C to copy, and then I'm going to come over into Tinker Plots and make a histogram of this. So here we are in Tinker Plots. I'm going to grab a table. So here's my new table. Control V to paste. So all I did was just paste that data from Excel, from my Excel simulation. Notice I've got a thousand of them here. Here they all are. I'm going to highlight that and let's just make a plot. All right, so standard deal in Tinker Plots is just a big pile of numbers. And if I grab one of the darker colored ones, I can stretch everybody way out, stack them up, and I'm actually going to make this into a fused plot so I can see a little bit better. <clears throat> and we see our nice sampling distribution. Notice that it's centered right about this 7.35, which, if I come back here, oh, 7.36, my apologies. That's the average for the energizers. That's the center of what we assumed was happening. And we notice that we've got this nice, kind of normal-looking curve. If we put our divider tool on there, measure some percentages, we can find the probability of getting 7.41 or more extreme. So let's do it. 7.41 or more extreme. Here I've lined up right at 7.41. And it looks like I'm pretty darn close to about 30%. So based on what we know about statistical hypothesis testing, there's about a 30% chance of taking nine batteries from this distribution and getting an average of 7.41. Well, what that tells me is that my, um, my ultra cell batteries maybe really aren't lasting any longer than the energizers and the difference that I saw, the 7.41 compared to the 7.36, is probably just random chance. Again, now I'll leave it to you to put this on pause. We've talked about this. Answer this question. And same thing here. And same thing here. The ultra cells below one volt, we can redo this whole thing. I'm not going to do it in the video. So I hope this has been interesting and helpful. I hope at least you can get Tinkerplots and Excel to play nicely to make some good histograms.